So still under complex numbers, let's focus on the expansion of sine n theta and cos n theta where n is a positive integer. Now a complex number can be represented in the polar form as z equals r into bracket cos theta plus j sine theta. And according to the Morvis theorem, z exponent n is equal to r times cos theta plus j sine theta or exponent n. So we have z exponent n simplified as r exponent n into bracket cos n theta plus j sine n theta. Now let's call this equation 1. Similarly, a complex number can be represented in the exponential form as z equals r times e exponent j theta. So z exponent n is equal to r times e exponent j theta or exponent n. And this becomes r exponent n times e exponent j theta n. Now let's call this equation 2. So it is reasonable to conclude that cos theta plus j sine theta all exponent n is equal to cos n theta plus j sine n theta and that is also equal to e exponent j theta n. So for instance, if n is equal to 2, then we say that cos theta plus j sine theta all exponent 2 is equal to cos 2 theta plus j sine 2 theta and that is also equal to e exponent 2j theta. So having this in mind, let's try some examples. So for example 1, express sine 3 theta and cos 3 theta in terms of powers of cos theta and sine theta. Now let's try this example. So according to the Morvis theorem, we know that cos n theta plus j sine n theta is equal to cos theta plus j sine theta all exponent n. So from this we can say that cos 3 theta plus j sine 3 theta is equal to cos theta plus j sine theta all exponent 3. So how do we expand cos theta plus j sine theta all cube? Now we know from the expansion of a plus b all cube that this expression is equal to a cube plus 3a square times b plus 3a times b square plus b cube. So basically we are going to use this to expand cos theta plus j sine theta all cube. Therefore we have cos 3 theta plus j sine 3 theta equals we have a to b cos theta and then b to b j sine theta. So we have a cube so that becomes cos cube theta plus 3 times a square so that becomes cos square theta times b which is j sine theta theta plus 3 times a we have a to b cos theta and then b to b j sine theta so this becomes j square sine square theta because we have b square plus b cube so that becomes j cube times sine cube 
theta. Now let's simplify further. So we have cos cube theta plus 3 times j. So this becomes 3j cos square theta sine theta. Here we have j squared to be negative 1. So this becomes negative 3 cos theta sine square theta times sine square theta. And then we have j cube. Now j cube is equal to negative j. So this becomes negative j sine cube theta. Now let's group the individual terms into real and imaginary components. So we have cos 3 theta minus 3 cos theta sine square theta. This is for the real part. And then for the imaginary, we can factor out j. And then inside of the bracket, we have 3 cos square theta sine theta. So 3 cos square theta sine theta minus sine cube theta. So we have this to be the real part and then this to be the imaginary part. Now from the onset, we know that cos 3 theta is the real part and then j sine 3 theta is the imaginary part. Therefore, cos 3 theta is equal to cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta sine square theta. Now from the question, we are asked to express sine 3 theta and cos 3 theta in terms of powers of cos theta and sine theta. So for the real part, we are going to express that in terms of powers of cos theta. And also for the imaginary part, we are going to express in terms of powers of sine theta. So we need to express sine squared theta in terms of powers of cos theta. So we have cos 3 theta minus 3 cos theta. Now we know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Therefore, sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. So instead of writing sine squared theta, we are going to write 1 minus cos squared theta. Now let's simplify further. So this becomes cos cubed theta minus, we have negative 3 cos theta times 1. So that becomes negative 3 cos theta. And then we have negative 3 cos theta times negative cos squared theta. So that becomes positive 3 cos cubed theta. Now we have cos cubed theta. We have 3 cos cubed theta. So we can add the 2 so that we have 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Therefore, we say that cos 3 theta is equal to 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Now let's move on to sine 3 theta. So for the imaginary part, we have sine 3 theta equals 3 cos square theta sine theta minus sine cube theta. Now we need to express this in terms of powers of sine theta. So we need to change cos square theta to powers of sine theta. Now we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So we have 3 times 1 minus sine square theta times sine theta minus sine cube theta. So we have 3 times 1 times sine theta that becomes 3 sine theta and then we have 3 times sine theta times negative sine square theta so that becomes negative 3 sine cube theta minus sine cube theta negative 3 sine cube theta minus sine cube theta becomes negative 4 sine cube theta 
and that is equal to sine 3 theta now let's move on to the next example so for example 2 use the Morris theorem with n equals 4 to prove that cos 4 theta is equal to 8 cos exponent 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 1 So from the Morris theorem, we know that cos n theta plus j sine n theta is equal to cos theta plus j sine theta, all exponent 4. Now let's expand the expression we have on the right hand side. So the expansion of a plus b exponent 4 is equal to a exponent 4 plus 4 times a exponent 3 times b plus 6 times a exponent 2 times b square plus 4 times a times b cube plus b exponent 4. So we are going to use this to expand cos theta plus j sine theta all exponent 4. So we have a to be cos theta, we have b to be j sine theta. Now let's do the expansion. So a exponent 4 becomes cos 4 theta plus 4 times cos cube theta times j sine theta plus 6 cos square theta times j square sine square theta plus 4 cos theta times j cube sine cube theta plus b exponent 4 is j exponent 4 sine 4 theta now let's simplify further so this becomes cos 4 theta plus we have 4 times j so that is 4j cos cube theta sine theta now this time we have j square so j square becomes negative 1 so this becomes minus 6 cos square theta sine square theta then we move on to we have j exponent 3 which is negative j so that becomes minus j we have 4 cos theta sine cube theta j exponent 4 is 1 so 1 times sine 4 theta becomes sine 4 theta now let's group the terms into real and imaginary components so for the real part we have cos 4 theta minus 6 cos square theta sine square theta and then plus sine 4 theta this is for the real part and then for the imaginary we have j into bracket we have 4 cos cube theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cube theta so we have this as the real part and also the imaginary part now we know that cos 4 theta is the real part therefore cos 4 theta is equal to cos exponent 4 theta minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta plus sine exponent 4 theta so we can replace sine square theta with 1 minus cos square theta so this becomes cos exponent 4 theta minus 6 cos square theta times 1 minus cos square theta plus now sine exponent 4 theta can be simplified as sine square theta times sine square theta so that also becomes 
1 minus cos square theta times 1 minus cos square theta. So we can simplify this as cos exponent 4 theta minus negative 6 cos square theta times 1 is negative 6 cos square theta. And then negative 6 cos square theta times negative cos square theta becomes plus 6 cos exponent 4 theta plus here we have 1 times 1 which is 1 we have 1 times negative cos square theta which is negative cos square theta we also have 1 times negative cos square theta so this becomes negative 2 cos square theta and then negative cos square theta times negative cos square theta becomes plus cos exponent 4 theta therefore we have cos exponent 4 theta plus 6 cos exponent 4 theta plus cos exponent 4 theta that becomes 8 cos exponent 4 theta and then we have negative 6 cos square theta minus 2 cos square theta so that becomes negative 8 cos square theta plus 1 therefore cos 4 theta is equal to 8 cos exponent 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 1 hence the proof